In this video I'm going to show you how to install Heidi Esquire in Ubuntu 24.04 it will be installed as a snap application. A snap application is basically a containerized application that's mainly used in Ubuntu. So there will be two methods I'll show uh, in the terminal and the app center. So I'm going to do the terminal one first. So if we go to the show apps icon, select terminal enlarge this so I'm going to just verify that uh, the snap command is working so I type in snap and it looks like it's working so if I click that and I'll type in the command to uh, install IDSQL so that'd be sudo snap install uh, IDSQL dash wine dash dash beta and by the way, this command will be um, on a blog post. Uh, the link for that will be in the description of this video. So I'll hit the enter key, type in the password, and wait for that to install. Okay, that's done. That's probably taking like a minute or so. So uh, I'll just minimize the uh, terminal and I'll show you the second method. The second method is to use the App Center app which is this icon here, so if I click that to open it. I'll just simply do a search for Heidi SQL. Okay, spell that wrong. SQL, there you go, and it's showing in the search. Click that. So, um, because I've already installed it, then there's not going to be an install option. So, um, so yeah, when I click that, it shows open and uninstall, which means it's installed. But if I didn't use the terminal method, then it, this will show install, so you can install it through here very easily. So I'll close that. And the last thing to do will be to open up Hydro SQL. So if we go to the show apps and Hydro SQL shown up there, so if I click that. So this is a Wine application. Wine it essentially allows you to run Windows applications in Linux. So this will just take some time to uh, load up. And there you go. So the first time you run it, it's just going to take time to uh, load up the application, but the next time you load it, it will be quicker to um, load. So there you go. So that's um, Heidi Esco up and running on Ubuntu. So I hope this video has been helpful to you. Leave a comment below if you have any queries or any issues. And thanks for watching.